There's nothing better than a home-cooked meal after a hard day's work. With my trusty crock pot, we're going to have one tonight. Hi guys, and welcome back to Old Southern Kitchen and Garden. We're both working today, and I wanted to have a meal when we actually got home. So I took out the trusty crock pot, and I had a chicken that I've just had sitting on the counter for 30 minutes, just to make sure that it's actually room temperature. So what we're going to do is slow roast this chicken in a crock pot over the next six hours. So when we get home, we're going to have a good roasted chicken dinner. All we're going to have to really prepare is the sides. Now to get started, you want flavor in all portions of the chicken. So we're going to just open this up and let me take this glove off. The first thing you want to season when you're going to roast a chicken, cook a whole chicken, spatchcock a chicken, anything, is the inside. And it might look like a lot of seasoning is going inside, but that is just going to be added flavor as the chicken is cooking. All the juices from the chicken will come down into the cavity and give us just a really good flavor. Now this is a new product I found. I wanted to add onion powder, but when I was in the store this weekend, I found caramelized onion powder. So we're going to give that a try today. You really, I, Kinder is a brand that's sold, I get it at Walmart. They have a lot of unique, really good flavors. And I'm usually happy with everyone I've gotten. One of my favorites is the salt, pepper, garlic blend, and they do have a garlic and herb, which I use a lot when I'm cooking. So we have the inside nice and seasoned. That's ready to go. Now, here I have half a stick of butter, and I've added all these seasonings to the butter. And what we're going to do with this, as you can see, it's room temperature, really soft and ready to go. You want to stuff it between the skin of the chicken and just rub it all in. What this is going to do as the butter melts when the chicken is cooking, it's going to basically baste the chicken on its own. Since it's going to be in a crock pot, you wouldn't be able to baste it so that you get a nice tender product. So we're just going to stuff a lot of butter into the cavity of the chicken under the skin of the breast. This will give you a nice seasoned because they have seasoning in it tender piece of chicken ready to go and then with the rest of it i mean i did a lot we're just going to rub it all over the chicken can't have too much butter and basically what it's going to do is melt into the gravy in the crock pot so there we go we have the chicken with butter and we're going to take it and you're going to place it in the crock pot a lot of people say you have to tuck the wings in, but honestly, this is a 12-quart crock pot. The wings are tucked into the side naturally. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, now let's get this finished up. So now what you're going to want to do is just liberally season the chicken. And as you can see, I'm not seasoning the bottom and the top of the chicken. You really don't need to. The juices from the bottom will be with all the fats from the top and all the seasoning will be throughout the entire chicken. So let's get a little more of this seasoning in. This smells extremely good. I can't wait to try it. This is the salt, pepper, and garlic. <coughs> Tony's got me. We just do a little fresh cracked black pepper and sea salt. And that is all it's going to take. Like I said, I'm cooking this on low. And what you're going to want to do, my chicken is room temperature. So that'll reduce the cooking time by an hour. So instead of going eight hours with a cold chicken on low heat, I'm going to go seven hours because we'll be home at about six and then we can check it and then your chicken is going to basically be ready to go when we get home so let me plug this in and get it going and i'll see you after work when we're ready to eat thanks guys okay guys 
We're back. We're back from work. This has been cooking seven hours on low. I tried to get it out in one piece, but it's really tender and it's really juicy. So wish me luck. But it is a beautiful roasted chicken. And I mean, look how tender it is. The wing just came off. All the bones are just coming out of it. It's gorgeous. Let's throw that up. So now all I need is sides, and what I'm going to do tonight is Dale's favorite, mashed potatoes and gravy, of course. So I'm going to thicken this gravy a little bit. All we have to do is basically touch this chicken, and it'll fall apart, and we're ready to eat. I hope you try this recipe. It's really simple. The chicken is really tender. The skin is not as crispy as I would like, but I am probably going to throw it in the oven for a few minutes and just let it crisp up a little bit. But other than that, it tastes phenomenal. So give this a try. And if you're new to our channel, just like and subscribe to our channel and get more videos like this and gardening videos. Also, I'm sure you can see we have seeds sprouting everywhere in the house right now because it's time to get them in the garden. So until next time, thanks for stopping by, guys.